Hello and welcome to Mobs BD. Today we're going to look at the PRTG, uh, the traffic gruffer from Pysler. Let's install it. And finally we will be actually uh, we'll be able to get some data out of the router and I have two routers configured over here it, it's a one is a wireless router and one is acting as gateway so we will be uh, collecting data uh, by SNNP from those devices accept the license agreement click next uh, the folder click next let's install the software first meanwhile we're going to look at the devices. This is my primary gateway. As you can see, it's an uh, Linksys RV042. Yeah. Well, the primarily, the process is actually the same. Uh, so I will show you only the process to how to get the uh, SNNP traps and collect all the necessary thing uh, the freeware okay the PRTG monitor it comes with a uh, 10 sensors free edition uh, we're going to use the free edition it comes with uh, 10 sensors with the free editions uh, PRTG admin Let's set the password for it. So no one is going to tamper with this one. So the PRTG web server would be in this IP address. This is the machine this machine's IP address. Let's see if it is. Yeah, it's, yes, it is. So, just confirming that. Click next. <coughs> It'll be a standalone mode, not a cluster. You can also configure this two or more servers uh, as a cluster, but I'm going to install it as a standalone mode in a single machine. So let's go back to the wireless router. It's a WRT54G. I have uh, a previous video uh, in the YouTube channel that shows how to configure these things. The web, uh, both uh, both Linksys has come with a web management. This is the whole thing. So. Quick start manual. Yeah, that was my mobile phone. Sorry about that. Let's click on finish. Okay, we will do it later. Continue to the website. And type in the password. So 
let's say if this things can be configured automatically in the first try continue V042 first IP address would be 1.1 1 .1. let's see that sensor SNNP traffic as you can see all these are already came in so let's select all of us additional channel discard in and unica you can also configure these broadcast packets in and out so yeah. only in and out would be configured for the rv042 So there you go. And web, let's see what does these things have that actually give you uh, the statistics. Here it is. RP042. All these things are public. Anyone can access these things. But make sure that uh, these things needed to be changed whenever you are in a secure network. So let's configure another one. This is this actually shows uh, the primary primary logs, the sensors and everything. Your daily basis. Um, you can you can see all these things over here. First group visible to this is the RV042, RV042, and let's create another device add device to an existing group device name would be WRT 54G as it's in there this is the one this is the wireless router so let's create So, inherit credentials for SNNP devices. Let's create. We have created four sensors for this one, and we're going to create um, another sensors for the WRT54G for SNNP traffic. This is the one. And let's go to the. As this one doesn't have any sensors for this one, uh, the WT54G it doesn't have any SNNP options for getting the um, SNNP SNNP reports. So more or less, that's about it. So as you can see. Uh, these are the configurable options over here in the Linksys router RV042. There are uh, more powerful routers in your home router, like RV082 and 016. These are these are uh, very stable, and you can also configure these things as you wish. So let's go for the devices. RV042 
let's add another sensor for web services HTM, it actually goes for port 80 you can also go for BOIP custom sensors if you have any Linux box you can also do, do those things as an MP4 WBM and ben bandwidth monitoring also it comes it's the same thing the, the configuration is the same so let's create another one for web servers uh, just HTTP transaction full web page certificate services and there are so many things you can also configure with the PRTG uh, I love this one because it comes with a 10, sen 10, uh, 10 sensors free and also it's really easy to configure and if you have a URL for the server it could also get those things from uh, from the web server uh, suppose like if you have a Cisco device and those devices comes with an HTTP server options you can also collect those informations from the Cisco devices also and these things are also same thing the configuration is pretty much basic so you can see individual traffic for individual individual machines since I have configured this one uh, this is also doesn't have any options to show you but one quick thing is that we can configure email systems to for the reports add report let's create an email system for, uh, it will be a monthly report report for RV042 everything is ok it will be in a landscape configuration it will be easier that way so I'm going to include only these ports for the report <coughs> and then report period would be monthly and show percentile would be on and you can add well, obs traffic and the groups would be like this continue so I miss something. Yep. If field is required, data table for five minutes interval. Okay. Continue. And there it is. Your reports be here. So basically this is what we have over here as you can see uh, I've been using the PRTG traffic traffic machine for quite a while and it has grown so much and it's actually a beautiful thing to get your uh, get information from your machines to a readable format that how much bandwidth you're actually using for your company so that's about it for today. Hope this video is informational to you. Bye.